Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a preview of the upcoming UEFA World Cup qualifying fixture between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Kazakhstan. This will be the first ever meeting between these two sides. It's going to be played in Zenica in Bosnia. Uh, the stadium in Zenica does not feature on the virtual wood patch that I use, but a few other stadiums from Bosnia do. So I have selected... I'm going to have a tough time with that name, but this is the home of Club FK Sarajevo. Certainly one of the larger clubs in Bosnia. Long look at the talisman Ed and Jekko. And the captain's armband for Bosnia and Herzegovina. There's a look around the home of FK Sarajevo. Take a look at our starting lineups here for Bosnia and Herzegovina. They're in a Christmas tree formation. Uh, notable names, Ed and Jekko, the striker up top, and Marilyn Pjanic. The next row down in an attacking midfield spot. Kazakhstan will have five at the back, four in the midfield, and one up top as we prepare for the Bosnian attack. Some of the players here. Look at our European qualifiers ball, and we are underway in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Two players I mentioned at the top, Ed Dzeko, in his first season for Inter Milan after many years with AS Roma, both of course Italian Serie A sides, and before that uh, some time with Manchester City in the English Premier League. Marilyn Pjanic plays for a little club you might have heard of called Barcelona in La Liga in Spain. Before that, spent some years in Serie A as well with Juventus playing at the Old Lady. A couple of uh, experienced and talented players are certainly the names to watch in this fixture on this Bosnian side. Kazakhstan very compact. The back here to start. Again, got a couple of very, um, to say very high end would probably be underselling it. World class um, attacking talent on this side for Bosnia and Herzegovina. So I'm sure in preparation for that, Kazakhstan have loaded up the back. They've got uh, nine outfield players behind the ball. And most time. I'm sure we're going to see these guys get back pretty quickly, but I've actually got a little more room than I've had thus far. Let's see if I can make something happen. There's still a lot of congestion back there. Home crowd in the stadium of FK Sarajevo. Haven't had much to cheer for yet. We're past the half hour mark. Still kind of prodding around to find that opening in this the Kazakhstan defense has come to play in this fixture. Defender knocks it down. Where are you going? Forgot something there, fella. Defender knocks it down again. My goodness, the defense has been 
quite impressive for Kazakhstan. Absorbed a lot of pressure. But it is nil-nil at the break. With Bosnia and Herzegovina. Two-thirds of the possession, but not a shot between us, so <laughs> maybe a little apology for a bit of a mundane first half here. Let's see if we can find a little more advancement here in the second half. Miro Pjanic. Got too much room between the midfield and Jekyll there, but advance some folks here. Where is everybody? Got that back. There's a look. I uh, can't quite get to that through ball. So check it at the end. Up there, kind of all alone. Let's see if we can maybe swing the ball in here. Fender knocks that down again. I'm saying that a lot. Jekko! Trouble keeper. Hour into the match, and I'm pretty sure that was a first shot attempt, so it's really been a uh, lot of uh, <laughs> back and forth at midfield here. Oh, goodness, now there is a uh, Foul in a bad position, so Kazakhstan is probably going to take a shot at goal here, I'd have to imagine. I'd be shocked if they didn't. The wall does its job, but that's out for a corner. stalemate on our hands, so let's see if either side can find a breakthrough here. There's not a lot of action in front of either goal this far. It's been really hard to penetrate this Kazakhstan defense for him so far. And now I've got some room. Defender gets a piece of it again, my goodness. Feels like every one of these defenders must be seven feet tall. Just everything try to put into the box is not down. My goodness, this has been incredibly frustrating. And then every time I... It's only the second time I've gotten one into the box and both times nobody was there. <laughs> Probably becoming audibly frustrated here. This is one of the more frustrating matches I've played in a while. This is I can't believe how inept the attack's been here. This Bosnia has a couple world-class attackers. Now there's a ball through! There it is! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! 93 and a half minutes in. And a check a former U.S. Thank you. 
attack. I can tell you firsthand. <laughs> Finally find the ball through that Jekka can get on the end of it. The defender was still all over him. Not much else that defender could have done. He was did a good job of holding him up there a bit, but Jekka still just gets there first. And you know he's got the precision to find whatever hole you leave. He's a very experienced striker. In the 94th minute, in a game that was only assigned three minutes of stoppage time. And my goodness, that would be heartbreaking for Kazakhstan if it would end that way. But let's take a look at our highlights. <laughs> you know there's going to be a not very much until, yeah, so literally nothing until the 67th minute. That's interesting. So as we go through the highlights here, I want to say a big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, I do a match of the day preview ahead of every match day in the Big Five European Leagues and other notable fixtures around the globe including this very extensive release of World Cup qualifier previews ahead of the international break. I also do a series of international replays where I replay World Cup finals from various competitions around the globe. If either of those types of content are of interest to you, then please do subscribe to my channel for more. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.